Hi there! I'm back to the notebook where I was exploring the data, and now it's the time to start seeing what exactly are these files and what do they contain. We will have to perform some pre-processing to accommodate it, and in the end we're going to move that code to functions. But let's go step by step. First of all, I will not need this uh, pip install anymore, so I'm going to delete the cell, and I'm going to start by loading the kedro.ipython extension again. As we saw before, this is going to load a number of Kedro objects, including the catalog, and this will allow me to load everything that I need. So here I have my companies dataset. For consistency, I'm going to call this companies. And after I do that, you see that I have this data here. Notice a couple of things. If I display the D types of the companies, so companies.d types, you see that I have a couple of uh, numerical columns. So there's the ID, which is an integer, and the total fleet count, which is a float, and then a number of string columns. However, these string columns actually contain numerical data that we care about. For example, the company rating contains a percentage, so we will have to extract the number from there. And the IATA approved contains apparently F and T, which probably stand for false and true. So we will probably want to transform this column into a Boolean column so that we can process that a little bit easier. Let's start with the Boolean column first. I'm going to add some extra cells here. And now let's get going. If I do companies IATA approved, you see that this is basically F and T. So what I can do is to check whether this is equal to T or not. And this is going to automatically return a new column that tells me whether this is true or false. And that's exactly what I need. So I'm going to overwrite this column here. IATA approved in a way that this is not going to be a string column anymore but a true or false column. In fact, I can do companies.head. And now you see that IATA approved no longer contains strings, but actually Boolean values. So this is now a bool column. Now let's extract the valuation from the company rating. As you can see here, companies, company rating is a string that contains the percentage. So I'm going to just remove the percentage sign here. So I'm going to do str.replace percentage sign with empty string. And now all of these are numbers, so I can do as type float. I see there are some missing values in here, which means that I cannot use the native pandas integrity type and I have to use the float instead. There we go. Now this is a proper numerical column, and again, I'm going to overwrite that. So company rating is no longer a string, but instead it's a number. I'm going to double check by doing companies.dtypes once more. And as you can see, now I have my two string columns converted to numerical columns. Enough with the companies. Now let's have a look at the shuttles. I'm going to do shuttles equals catalog.load shuttles. And after the Excel loading is done, I should be able to do shuttles head on here as well. Now let's look closely at what's happening here. I'm going to add some more vertical space and let me do shuttles.dtypes again. So we see we have a lot of object columns again that maybe represent numbers that we want. So we see here, for example, there's this check complete column that contains T and F. And if we zoom in a little bit more closely into what's happening to the extra columns of the data set, we see that we also have clearance complaint for the moon and one column that contains money. I will need to do some more pre-processing here. First of all, I'm going to also convert these two columns to Boolean, same as I did before, 
and then I'm going to extract the numerical value for the price. Let's get going. First of all, shuttles, the check complete contains this F and T. So I'm going to again verify if this is equal to T and I'm going to overwrite all of this. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing. There we go. With moon clearance complete. So let me do just that. And I'm ready. And finally, for the price, I'm going to do something similar than what I did before. So shuttles price is a string column that contains this numerical value with the dollar sign at the beginning. So I'm going to do str.replace dollar sign with the empty string as well as this comma here with the empty string as well. So if I do that, you see that I now get the row value, but it's still a string. So I'm going to do as type float to finish. And now that I'm happy with the result, I'm going to overwrite this. And now I have what I want. So now my shuttles D types are adjusted. My price is a float and my checks are booleans. But you kind of agree with me probably at this point that this is starting to get a little bit messy. I have a number of cells that execute D types at different places. I have some preprocessing that is happening exactly in the same way in two places because I'm doing this equals T here, but also for the previous data sets right here. And so in general, there's a lot of duplicated code here that I can improve. So I'm going to now pause to give way to the next video in which we're going to transform all this code into Python functions that then will become part of our Kedro pipeline.